watch. This is my channel Nuked for a second. Welcome everybody. It's 2023 and it's time to set some goals for myself. One of the biggest I think is getting more experience with dual deployment. Most of my rockets that you see me fly in the last year and a half are single deployment. One big reason is a lot of them are older rockets from 2001, 2002 and they're just kind of like big heavy rockets and they're really caring about dual deployment. If I want to ever get to level three certification, I really need more experience with dual deployment. So how am I going to do that? So one of the ways I'm going to get more experience with dual deployment is building this rocket. It's a carbon fiber wrap, three inch diameter rocket, dual deployment. And I'll get a little closer here. You can see there's the vent band. And, and I plan on using this quite a bit. I'm going to have the R RC2 Missile Works in here. It's a nice small altimeter, it'll fit nice. And I'll get plenty of flights. This can handle some high power G motors all the way up to high power. And I'll get more experience with the dual deployment here. So for the first flight with this carbon fiber wrap rocket, I'm gonna name Numinous. I set aside an Aerotech H182 Red Lightning motor. It'll send it up about 1800 feet. And that'll be my first trial run with the dual deployment with this. Again, the Missile Works RRC2 Plus altimeter in there, and that should go pretty good. Okay, going up the next size rocket, here is the four inch diameter fiberglass rocket that I'm gonna call a Sky Digger. This is actually a scaled down version of the six inch I had back in 2001. And I made that rocket getting my level two certification back then. And man, I, I cannot wait to fly this. This is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna go up on a J435 white lightning motor. This is all dual deployment. Again, more experience with dual deployment. It's head end, head end deployment. So get more experience with that too. So my big plan for this year is adding on to the Jupiter 3 project. I'm gonna add a whole nother section up top, event band, and I'm gonna make this dual deployment. Rocket will end up weighing about 37 pounds, and I have an Aerotech L1000 going on that, and I plan on launching that at Rimrock, uh, Rocket Club down in Rhode Island, and very excited about that. It should hit about 2,900 feet on the simulation, and that is, under their waiver for 3,000 feet. So, very excited. I haven't launched an L motor, you know, since back 2001. My, uh, the L1120 white lightning motor. So I'll be ordering from Locke another 30 inch airframe piece and then get the coupler, the stiffy tube to make the electronics bay. And yeah, this thing's gonna be big. <laughs> Added on to all this and project I am super excited about. My goal is to launch late spring. It should be ready to go. When I get all that, I, I can't do any fiberglass now. It's too cold out and like in here where I shoot videos, it's too cold. Um, so yeah, spring when it warms up a little bit, I'll be doing some fiberglass and getting this going. And I'm hoping like April, maybe May, get that project going. The Sky Digger and the carbon fiber rocket those should go up pretty soon, you know, as soon as the weather gets a little warmer. So I'm hoping like March and April, get those up. And I'm really excited about the Sky Digger. I mean, from the old videos, I, I can put up another quick clip of it, but when it goes up, it just screams. Joshua Drummond. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sky Digger. Yeah. 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 
and it was kind of influenced a little like medieval too. I think it has that menacing medieval look to it. But this thing being all fiberglass, this is, this is a strong, very strong rocket. So I just want to give everyone a quick update of the goals and uh, kind of like some of the launch dates I have in mind. The carbon fiber rocket, I call it Numinous. I'll probably send this up when it warms up and we get some good weather in the spring with the Cato Rocket Club in Durham, Connecticut. The Skydigger project, I am hoping to send this up again in the spring with CMAS possibly. I know they do one event at their level two field in April. If not, then um, I believe they don't have that field back till September. Or I can probably go to the Rimra Rocket Club down in Rhode Island and send it off there. And I have this for late spring, the Jupiter 3 with the extension on there in full dual deployment mode. And that'll be with Rimra also in Rhode Island. So that's my plans. I'm super excited. Should be some great videos and great experiences. And I, I really look forward to this year. I got my level one, level two certifications out of the way. It's time to have fun. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to add this in. I have build videos of the fiberglass sky digger project and the carbon fiber project. So those will be coming out. I'll probably break those up because they're quite extensive videos. So I'll probably do four or five parts on each build and be releasing those pretty soon too. So keep an eye out for that. I appreciate everyone watching these videos and your support. Thank you very much. And we'll see you guys in the next video.